Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Here we've got two teams who will look to their running backs if they want to control the pace of the game. It's the Chiefs going up against the Cowboys. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Larry. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and Mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one taken just inside the 10. Spinning away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Out comes the Kansas City offense. Here's a look at Alex Smith. Now, he and the crew, they lost Oakland this last week in a heartbreaker, that instant classic of a, of a game. But Alex Smith did his thing again, Charles. Over 300 yards, three touchdowns. Yeah, and they lost to Oakland, snapping 11-game winning streak against the AFC West. And their second loss in a four-game span because they lost to Pittsburgh the previous Sunday. But still, is Alex Smith not a top candidate for NFL MVP right now? Well, you've been saying it since the beginning. He looks so good. I still, I still say it. The most confident quarterback in the league based on where he came from. And I still think that he and Kansas City are going to make a lot of noise before this one's over. Now the rookie from Toledo. This is Kareem Hunt. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Here's Smith now on second down, and this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. The Kansas City first. Smith fighting his fellow pro bowler, Kelsey. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Smith going to give this one to Hunt. And he's got it across midfield and down to about the 47-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Again with Hunt. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. So it'll be first down here after the run. Smith with a give to Hunt. 
And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Kansas City's offense taking the field, and let's talk about that offense, what they've done in the NFL this season. Hunt and Hill in particular. Hunt has now hit 1,000 yards from scrimmage. He did that this last week against the Raiders. Now, he set a record last week, six straight games over 100 yards to start a career. He's now extended it to seven straight games doing that. And Tyreek Hill, no pass really can be overthrown to Tyreek Hill when he decides to go get it. It looked like it was gone. <laughs> he got it, turned into a 68-yard touchdown. They'll try the air now with Smith, and he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. That catch good for five. It's third down. And now the defense for Dallas. The Cowboys' defense is characterized by its cohesiveness. When you look at them position by position, you're not often impressed. But when you play together collectively, as the Cowboys did in 2016, you find a defense that ranked number one against the run and were a tough team to solve for everyone who tried to move the ball against them. They'll run it now. This is Chuck Hendrick West. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. So important that you keep an opening drive going because you want to set the tempo right away. And you and I both know you can't set a tempo if you're putting the football away. Yeah, maybe early. Don't want to be too over the top. But you're right, big third down conversion. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all on the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. On second down, here's Smith. And down inside the 15 he goes. A Kansas City first down. Smith finding Hill that time. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. From the red zone now, Smith. This will be caught just inside the 10. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sidelines thinking to themselves and expressing, just keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. De'Anthony Thomas, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs take it right down and score on the opening drive. Typical Alex Smith drive right there. Short, accurate passes like a point guard in basketball distributing to his scorers. Just take him with the defense is giving him. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt.
Butker now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. Dallas Cowboys sitting at 500 after their blowout win against San Francisco last week in Week 7. Dak Prescott finishing 16 for 25. Three touchdowns in that victory. We talked about this at the beginning of the season, the potential evolution of Dak Prescott as the starting quarterback. Last year, much more of that so-called game manager playing off of the running game from Ezekiel Elliott. But I thought he'd make a jump this year to where he could actually lead the team, put it on his shoulders. And I think that's been proven correct. Great stats this game against San Francisco, a game they needed to go ahead and jump on their opponent. And that's exactly what they did. Led by number four, Dak Prescott. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. Well, that's a pretty familiar sight because Ezekiel Elliott in 2016, his rookie year, had 14 runs of 20 yards or more. That led the NFL. Yeah, he said in the offseason he wanted to be better when he got into the second level, so he's shooting high. I like that. I like a guy who wants to get better at his craft. Look out, defenses. here losing yardage back at the 48 yard line a loss of a full three yards and now it's second down wow that play got shut down in a hurry as soon as the snap came you could see defensively they were just closing in that was going nowhere yeah you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space a little bit of time so you can make a move there was none there for him Second down, Prescott. Looking downfield for Dez. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. And the offensive starters for Dallas. The trademark of the Cowboys' offense is balance. They start with the running game, the number two running team in the NFL in 2016. And while the number 23 passing number may give some cause for alarm, don't look at it that way. They run the ball so well and so effectively that when they do decide to throw the football, it often results in big plays downfield. And with a third and 13 here, the defense in a dime look. Prescott from the gun. Right side complete to Butler. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. Now the seventh year man Chris Jones on to kick. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. And out come the Chiefs now. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 nothing lead. Of course they would. I and mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. On first down, Smith. 
Throw left side, taken in by Hill. A very solid gain of 27. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. First and ten, Smith. Throw left side complete. That's Hill. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. But those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Twisting away. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They go play action to Hunt. Now Smith. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. They go play action here on first down. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with, but it's second down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Second down here after the incomplete pass. They run with Hunt, and he'll fall forward to the 29-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Throwing on third down, Smith. That is caught at the seven. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but the defense there, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen. But everyone's talking, communicating, pointing, and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to cover. When a receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one, you got to let your guy know. They got a completion there. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. 
Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. To throw on second down is Smith. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Following the interception, here's Prescott. He finds his target, Terrence Williams. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they're marching off another 15 against your squad. on the play back at the 44. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. Takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. So they'll give a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've hit the end of quarter one. Seven nothing is our score. We're back to Arlington in just a moment. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. They've got it third and ten here to start things out. It's Elliott, and he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Call it a three-yard gain, and that's going to bring up a fourth down.
So on fourth down, Jason Garrett sends in his field goal unit. This from 54 yards away. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Alex Smith in the offense heading out for their next possession. He's got the lead here in the second quarter. He's thrown the touchdown, but also an interception. As a quarterback, does that interception, even though you're playing while your team's got the lead, does that always stick in the back of your mind a little bit? For the best ones, it just upsets them that they did that because they don't think there should be any blemishes on their record. They think that they're way better than that. So your confidence gets tested a little bit. Being able to go back out there, maybe throw another touchdown, that will tamp that down in a big way. Yeah, I can see he's looked pretty good to this point. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I want to take a glance back to last week real quick. we got a second. That Raiders-Chiefs game. How about that ending? Four last plays. That was an instant classic. We can laugh about it. Kansas City is not going to. But when I went back and reviewed all of those plays, I found all the penalties that were called. That was an ending unlike any ending I've ever seen, <laughs> and especially in a classic rivalry game with Kansas City and Oakland. Boy, what a way to finish for Oakland, a game they absolutely had to have to keep their season going. Here's Smith on the option left. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. He lost two there, and it's third down. There are times when I think people just overlook how good a player Sean Lee really is. One of the more athletic linebackers in the league. He can make plays against the run, against the pass, you name it. He's one of the better ones out there. And number 50 so loved by the fans in Dallas. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. Fourth down on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. This one angles out of bounds at a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, Less of a field goal attempt for him. They start on the ground with Elliott. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. And that run there does nothing but juice up the guys who are moving the football. I mean, if you're an offensive lineman, people running it actually the guy calling plays you're almost jumping up and down in jubilation aren't you and yeah, now you've got options on second down and big time options you might want to think about play action and try and get something cheap right here over the top Prescott now on second down and he goes down it's a sack 
They get him back at his own three-yard line. Derek Johnson in from his linebacker's spot. He's able to drop him for a loss of about 10. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. A give to Elliott. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. Well, as an offense, you know, some drives you have it, some drives you don't, and this one looks like a you don't. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, it was third and long. It was screaming for a pass. I think they tried to outguess him there with the running play. They didn't fool him at all. Went in the wrong direction. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. And take it right at the 35. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. They're out in front last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And an alley to run. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Again with Hunt. And now running right through him. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. of play action. Here's Smith. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 35 yards. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Butker now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown.
Butker now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Now a play fake here on first down. And this one caught by Des Bryant. And he's brought down after a good game. A nice gain of 21 yards. The numbers for Dak as a rookie last year are still kind of mind-boggling. And you look at QB rating, Dak was 104.9. Now, among full-time quarterbacks, only two Super Bowl quarterbacks, Matt Ryan and Tom Brady, were higher. And look who he finished ahead of. Guys like Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, Russell Wilson. Amazing. first down toward the left sideline but it's incomplete well, that incompletion gives us an opportunity to talk about what some people dubbed shutout Sunday this last week in the NFL. Well, we have three shutouts that yeah. we saw? Yeah, for the first time since 2012, matched the total number of shutouts all of last season. How about Denver getting shut out by the Chargers? That's the first shutout for the Broncos since 1992, 394 games worth. So that's a big deal. The Colts, goose egg against Jacksonville. Jackson also put 10 sacks on them in that game. Trying here for Bryant, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 49. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. Partner, what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead is swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. Butker on for the PAT. And it is now 21 to nothing. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Our focus now moving to Des Bryant as he heads back out there. 
They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us, but sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far, just a single catch in this game. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. Ball start, offense. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Cole Beasley, the intended target. And now it's second down. Now, partner, I'm going to go off topic for a second here. Discussion we were having in the truck before the game about guys in the NFL this year, superstars that have had slow starts that maybe you're thinking, okay, they need to have a better second half of the season. Yeah, and I think that some of them will. Amari Cooper comes to mind. Really rough beginning to this season, but he broke out against Kansas City in the Thursday night game, so I think that will continue. Ben Roethlisberger, we're just a couple of weeks removed from him thinking, I'm not sure I have it anymore. Oh, yeah, he still has it. They've won two games since then. Des Bryant, he went off against San Francisco. Maybe San Francisco's the tonic that he needed <laughs> to get him going. Jay Ajayi and Miami are winning. But how about Julio Jones and Matt Ryan? The struggles continue in Atlanta, trying to figure out how to get back to last year's explosiveness. Third and long for Prescott. And this one complete to Witten over the middle. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Taking it about the 16. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Now, Sharkandrick West heading back onto the field. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because <laughs> they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. First down, it's Smith. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Give him a yard on the run there and that's going to set up a third down and two. Well if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. On 
third down. It's Hunt. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage, but it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force, and they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Smith turns and gives to West. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. A gain of three, second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Here's Smith now on second down. Out to the right here to Wilson. And he's brought down. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. They'll run. This is Hunt. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because, really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Larry Ridley will have the highlights and analysis of this first half from our studios in Orlando. And I have a feeling those highlights will be pretty one-sided, too. Yeah, I think you're right, partner. Smith going to leave it to Hunt on the draw. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. The Chiefs on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and five. Here's Smith. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Malik Collins able to get him down for a loss of 11 on the play. And it'll be fourth down. 
Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big. But sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, you know, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz. And even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And now here come the Cowboys. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Not that we necessarily see this as being in the cards, but worth noting that 21 points would equal their franchise record for largest deficit overcome. Certainly plenty of work to do between now and then. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. Second down throw for Prescott. And Bryant's got it over the middle. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout. As they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. and We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. The Cowboys on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. Here it's third and three. Prescott. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. First down, Prescott. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it that's going to be 15 yards. So here we go, first and ten now. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. from the gun. A dump off to Elliott. And he gets it down to the 32. That was signal and a timeout call. As it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. Yeah. 
And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes the timeout. And now we're set to get going. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hash. And he didn't get it there. No, it's no good. Just shy of the crossbar. And this score will stay right where it is. So two missed field goals for him now. That's helped keep them with a big zero on the scoreboard. Well, it's not the only reason they have a zero. The offense has been bogged down a few times now, but it's certainly not helping the cause any at all. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. So we are at halftime here on Halloween as we send you over to our headquarters in Orlando where we check in with Larry Ridley for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, back to you guys in a minute. But first, it's indeed time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Cowboys trail at home at halftime. The Chiefs have come in and look good as the road team and will just keep trying to play hard and maintain the lead going forward. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Chiefs have it on second and five. Thomas is by himself here, and he came off the long drive with a touchdown. Chiefs hook the ball, end of the first. Here the defense will come up with the pick. Cowboys defense comes away with the turnover. About halfway through the second quarter, Kelsey's wide open here on the catch, and this long run goes for a touchdown. That puts them on top by 14. Midway through the second quarter, Prescott's under fire and will throw the pick. Chiefs would then turn it around for the TD. The lead grows to 21. That'll do it from here in Orlando. Let's get you back out to Dallas as we hand things over to Brandon Guy. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And he'll get this up to about the 40. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Offense in a good spot here, second and two. Hey, 
Here's Prescott. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. The Cowboys on third down. Just one for five to this point. Here it's third and two. Now Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. Another drive comes and goes, still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. But you just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. And how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. You know how we get focused at end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and, you know, what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about that. That's just smart football. You know, that kind of a lead, staying in bounds, it burns clock even in a situation that we're not really focused on it. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, look credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Smith on third down. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. And he uncorks a beauty. Best of the day. This is taken at the 15. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. They'll start the drive with Elliott. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And it'll bring up a second and 14. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. Offense needs something here on second down. It is second and long. Looking to throw. Prescott. And his 
first throw here is incomplete. He was looking for Terrence Williams that time, and it's third down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. The Cowboys on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. This is third and 14. There's Prescott. And that is incomplete. Well, no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. Out now comes the Cowboys punter, standing just outside his own goal line. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 23. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. And now here comes Kansas City. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. They go play action here on first down. And unable to connect on the long pass. It falls down incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. And that'll bring up second down. Over oh, that incompletion, let's have some fun for a second. Dan Bailey, Cowboys kicker, got injured last week, so they brought in their safety, Jeff Heath, to kick. Did you see this? I did, and, and, it, really, and it cracks me up because when you have to bring in the emergency kicker, you're wondering, are they going to go old school and look like super toe or the square toe and hit it straight on? Are they going to have the soccer cell? Jeff Heath, the first one he makes, but the second one, that would look like me off the tee at the golf course. That's yeah, a good analogy. Jeff, we love you, but you made two, but that one that he missed, if you haven't seen it, go look it up. It was quite the PAT try. But he did add five kickoffs as well. He so did. He was, he was all around that day, and they're hoping Dan Bailey heals fast. Throwing on third down, Smith. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five all the way down at the two yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. And tough starting field position here. end zone Prescott and now Prescott is going to be taken down he couldn't get away and that's a safety well I think you can go ahead and give your punter an assist on that one pinned him deep and the defense comes through with two points you're exactly right partner this was all set up by a great punt and if the ball goes in the end zone this never happens so great call give the punt team and the punter some love
So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. Returnable for Thomas. <laughs> Alex Smith and company heading back out there now. And do you think he personally is evaluating his game so far? He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's got to like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and 2, alert for anything <laughs> out there, watching for trouble on the road, and making sure you get the team home. The bus driver. See if he can drive the bus here again on this drive. Hey, 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 hey. On the run, this is Hunt. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Second down following the run. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hunt. Powers through. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. The Chiefs on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and four. To throw is Smith. And this is going to be incomplete. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. And they don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. A first down throw for Prescott. And almost intercepted. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. Well, Charles, peeking back at week seven of the NFL season, has always had some top performances. You and I were discussing Zeke Elliott off air, three touchdowns, 147 yards rushing. Uh, who else did you like? Oh, I liked Eddie Jackson in Chicago, the rookie free safety out of Alabama. Two defensive touchdowns, <laughs> over 75 yards each. That's an NFL record. I'm sorry, Ms. Jackson. Eddie's for real. <laughs> and then Amari Cooper over 200 yards and two touchdowns. Yeah, he finally broke out. All we were talking about heading into that game was what's going on with Amari Cooper? Is he being targeted enough? Is he catching the ball enough? What's going on? Well, he broke out in a big way and announced his presence with authority once again. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give him a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. The offense on third down tonight, it's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. 
Well, Stan's reason to give Zeke the ball there, I mean, let's face it, last year, led the league in first downs picked up. Yeah, 91 of them, 19 more than second place David Johnson. Yeah, you, know, you can see the confidence that the team has in him touching the football. Offensive line wants to block even harder because of him. play this time they say uh-uh as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage it's a loss of a yard there and now second down brandon that play typifies what we've seen from the offense all day long they've had no success getting things going i think for the offensive coordinator he's got to go to that side of the play sheet that says try something different try some specials something they haven't seen all day to try and get this offense kick started Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. On second down, Elliott. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big run that time by Elliott. 64 yards on the ground. And now a first down following that long game. They come up in an offset eye. Now it's the Florida Atlantic alum. This is Alfred Morris. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Bryant, the lone receiver left. They'll try to throw now. Prescott into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Snags it for the pick, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Thought they had something going there to break that goose egg here in the second half, but to no avail. Hope was alive until that interception. What a terrific play, taking the ball away after it looked like they were starting a drive. And now that shutout still standing. You know that's something those defensive guys hold a lot of pride on, too. No doubt about it. They are excited about where they are in this game. Kareem Hunt and the rest of the offense making their way back out there. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went into halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half. It gets ugly in the second half. They've come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. Now Hunt, and he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And give him a lot of credit there, but even more credit to the guys up front. In that situation, you know it's going to be a stacked defensive front, and to be able to gain that much yardage, that's a big win for the guys on offense. Yeah, they were just about standing on their own goal line, so to get a few yards there, a great start. Now we'll see what second down breaks. A big seam, and he might go all the way. He's at the 50, and all the way down to the 42. It's a big play there for the Chiefs. 54 yards on the ground. Nothing fancy there, a little smash mouth football right up the gut on the dive and it turns into a huge play. You talk about the fastest way to the secondary, right up the gut as you described and sprinted into the secondary for a long, long run. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Right, 
Now West. And he's going to take it down to about the 35 here. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll try the air now with Smith. And his throw is incomplete. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This time it's third and three. Trying to run the option right side. Smith, that is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. How about the fellas with the stars on the side of their helmets rising up on defense? We always hear about the Cowboys rushing offense. Their rush defense is pretty good as well, I think, because they're so cohesive. Defensive line linebackers really work well together. So on fourth down, Andy Reid decides to send in the field goal unit. From the right hash, this from 53. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And this one will not work out. It is incomplete. It would have been a long field goal. The fake doesn't work out. Before the offense gets cranking again, Let's talk about the Madden Classic. The first EA Major of the 2018 season happened. It's in the books. And Skimbo won it all again, his second title. Yeah, and how about that? That's his real name, too, Michael Skimbo. But he goes by Skimbo as his gamer name. Wins it all. Came out on top. Was it 24 to 20 against Radel Joe Brito? So a heck of a <laughs> final right there. Skimbo not only takes home $25,000. He takes home the belt, I which I think might be more important to him. That tangible symbol of being the top player in the game. Yeah, but 25K, that's more important to me. I should have played more video games as a kid. Yeah, you should have. You and I combined, we're not, we're not getting a quarter off any of these guys, no. let alone winning a game. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Completes it to Jason Witten. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. On the counter, Elliott. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. The Cowboys on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This time they face a third and two. Now Dak on the option left. He may try and run for this. He'll get a couple of yards on the keeper, but it's going to lead to a fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. He's been terrific so far.
And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Smith going to give this one to Hunt. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They'll run again with Hunt. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker. And now it's third down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. On third down, that's Hunt, and he'll be taken down here at about the 23-yard line. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And out now come the Cowboys. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. First and ten, Prescott, and nearly picked off there, almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott going for the deep ball. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. The Cowboys on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and ten. Out 
out of the gun. Here's Prescott. He completes it to Bryant. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Prescott finding his big receiver, Bryant, there for a Cowboy first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Fresh set of downs here. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Prescott on first down, and this one complete to Witten over the middle. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> and what a really nice gain right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Prescott yet again. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Reggie Raglan in from his linebacker spot. He's able to drop him for a loss of about 10. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Now Prescott. And that is incomplete. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And this is going to be incomplete. Jason Garrett might be wanting to reconsider the decision to go for it there. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. Smith with a give to Hunt. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. That was a really nice play. Be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. The Chiefs on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This will be third and five. Here's Smith. And Wilson has it. 
And he's brought down, but following a pretty juke move that gives him the first down. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. Now that's a big pickup right there, and so often we focus on how the quarterback's faking up play action. How about everyone being in on the deal and picking it up? Second, third levels, you could see them trying to recover. They bit, worked out offensively. Red zone opportunity. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll at least get them inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Here's Hunt. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. On third down, that's West. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. And here comes play number six on this drive. On the ground, it's West again. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Charkandrick West, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs just continue to pour it on. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. Butker now to add the extra point. And the lead is now an even 30. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's West that finishes it off with a touchdown run. Butker now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. Then he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Encroachment defense. So step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know. Defensive end. 
He wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Encroachment defense. Well, they didn't really have to earn that first down, did they? Well, they're not having to earn much, are they? Back-to-back -back penalties. First was first and five, and now they give them a first down. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Prescott looks to throw on first. That one complete, Elliott. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll make it a second down. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. A second down throw for Prescott. And that's incomplete. The Cowboys' all-time receptions leader, Jason Witten, the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. He's got to be kicking himself right there. His team's already picked off two passes. That would have been the third in the game. And boy, they've really played well attacking the football. The Cowboys on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This will be third and five. Prescott from the gun. And he finds a man with a crossing route. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Partners, a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Collision there, jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Gave a glimpse of his power that time. And then brought down at the 30. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Prescott from the gun on third. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. And they're on third and short. They just tried to spread the field. It worked. And I think that the spreading of the field, the extra receivers, has really become the next in the evolutionary chain in the NFL. Go all the way back in that situation, you're handed to the fullback, right? As we evolve, maybe you pitched it to your tailback. Now you spread the field, and you have your choices of where to throw it 
and complete it for a first down. Now Prescott. And on the left side, he's got Witten. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. And that's another stop for the defense, something we've seen all game long. They have been on fire today. No matter what's called by the offense, they've had an answer for it. So on fourth down, Jason Garrett sends in his field goal unit. This will be a 37-yard attempt. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And they'll make a small dent in that big deficit as it's down to 27. Well, it's a Pyrrhic victory at best, but Charles, no team wants to get shut out, so it's hard to blame them for taking the three there. You can't blame them one bit. It hasn't been the best performance, that's for darn sure. But there is something to be said for fighting to avoid the goose egg. And they're at least trying to finish out strong. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. there maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. Time for a break back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Second down following the run. few times here today this one's not going to go anywhere officially no gain on the play and they're left with a third and eight but it was stopped on that play but he's had plenty of carries all afternoon every now and then the defense is going to win one but i don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game if they want a first they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down 
This is West. Calling no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. One of the things I love about this game is there's a match of wits throughout the game. Who's going to get the advantage? Who's going to catch someone off guard? It's like the offense thought they might catch the defense off balance with that play call, but unfortunately, that didn't work for them. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Des Bryant, the intended receiver, and it's second down. You know, every time we talk with people about the most important quality for a quarterback to have in the NFL, what do they usually cite? Arm strength. Yeah, and that's really way down on the list. Accuracy is one of the bigger ones, maybe the foremost one. That's what he needed on that play. Throwing again, Prescott on second and ten. His throw incomplete. So a third and ten, and defensively, a dime look, six DBs. Prescott to throw it. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. I don't know. He had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. Well, the mental focus. Yeah, the that's thing. true. Got to stay with it. That's true. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on here to punt it away. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. <laughs> A big kick that time, 52 yards. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. is Hunt. Room here to run. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done.
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Big D.